What's up everybody, my name is Jonah Dew and I'm one of the banking bros here with The Money Multiplier. And today's video is all about sequence of returns and does average actually equal actual returns? See, here's the reason why I brought this up. I've been having a few conversations lately with folks out there just like you who have reached out to us via our social media channels or our YouTube channels where you guys are watching this and they've said things to me like, oh, I'm having a great return this year in whatever ABC investment. Or they've said the opposite. Oh, uh oh, my plan, my account, my this, that is actually down this year because of whatever. But it's okay because I'm averaging about this number. I'm averaging this percentage. Three, four, five, six, seven. I've heard some people tell me 15, 20% is their average. And so every time someone actually mentions that to me, I find myself kind of remiss if I don't remind them that average returns aren't actual dollars, actual returns. And to show this to you and prove it to you, I'm actually going to use a chart that I found off of the internet. It's actually a great looking chart. I've redone it and put our own uh, flair on it a little bit and changed some of the value so it makes more sense for you. But I want to show you sequence and how average isn't actually actual. Okay, in order to show you this, this chart that I found with the internet refers to a retirement account. A retirement account that's got about $750,000 in it. And each year they have a return and of course that return is generated by the market, the S&P that this retirement account is actually attached to. So as you can see on your screen, in the first year they've got a return of 8%. In the second year, 11%, then 18%, 14%, 12%, 9%, 11%, 9%, it just keeps going, right? And here's what's important. Because it was set up for a retirement account, this chart also shows that the retiree is withdrawing from this account in the clip of about $40,000 per year. Now, I know if you're of retirement age, you know that your financial professional or whoever you're working with probably doesn't recommend that if you've got $750,000 that you should pull $40,000 of that. That's a little bit too high. They actually probably recommend that you pull a little bit lower, but that's neither here nor there. That, we'll save that for another video. Here's what's important about this chart. With, with this chart, what you're actually noticing is that it's detailing for you what happens if you retire at the beginning of an up market. Notice that all of the values that I listed out up until the last five or six years there are positive values. So it's saying, well, if you have 750,000 and you start pulling for retirement, but you retire at the beginning of an up market, you'll actually end 15 years later. Now, I know that's not a super long retirement, but, but stay with me. The point is you'll end 15 years later with $757,000. So that's more than you started while you took out $40,000 a year, you know, 15 times, $600,000 you took out. But here's what's important about that. We need to look at the average rate of return. So do you guys at home remember how to do average? Here's what we're going to do. We're going to take all of those numbers, 8, 11, 18, 14, 12, 9, 11, 9, 7, 5, negative 4, negative 8, negative 15, negative 6, and negative 5, and add them up. Then we're going to divide by how many numbers we added together. If you do that, you'll notice that the average is 4%. There was an average 4% return over those 15 years, okay? But here's where sequence makes a huge deal and why average does not actually mean actual. See, we, we just did the math on our average. We took all of our numbers, added them up, divided by as many numbers as we had, and we got our average. But what if we inverted twisted the column of our returns. So not changing any numbers, but just change the sequence in which those returns happen. Just, just flip them upside down. Now here's what's important. That will not change our average. We have not changed any numbers. So that doesn't change our average. Our average is still going to be 4%. But what happens if you have a bad sequence of returns in this chart's example, right at the beginning of retirement. So instead of having 8% in that first year, we, we flipped it. So we've got a negative 5%, then a negative 6, then a negative 15, then a negative 8, then a negative 4, and then the positive returns. Still taking $40,000 out each year, just like we did in the first example, but this time, 15 years down the road, you're actually only left with $197,000. 
For those of you at home, that is a difference of almost $500 plus thousand dollars while your average continued to be 4%. The average did not change, but the sequence of returns did change. And that's why it's so important when I hear you guys on the phone or you guys call or, or, or email in or, or comment on the, the post that, oh, but, but I'm getting more of a return here or I have a better average here or I have this, that. While we make it so important and we relate to you that average doesn't actually mean actual returns. So our average is 4% in both columns. But on one side, 15 years down the road, you pulled out 600,000 and still had $7,000 above what you had. On the other side, you pulled out 600,000 and you were down to $197,000. And of course, this is an example, but the truth of the matter is this. What if that happens to you? What if your plan, your program, your account has a bad sequence of returns right when it's time for you to retire and sit on the couch and watch soap operas with the grandkids? What happens to you if that happens? Average does not always mean actual. If you are interested in an actual return, not just averages, then you've got to reach out to us. What we do here at our channel is we teach and we help people understand the infinite banking concept as taught by R. Nelson Nash in his book, Become Your Own Banker. If you're interested in getting started or you've got questions and want to know more specifics about how this can work for you, you've got to reach out and we look forward to chatting with you.